All right, so we're going to start. We're going to program in the Schoken Beiler correlation. So our example was if we had radiant heat flux, or what's the radiant heat flux to a person standing 10 meters from a kerosene pool fire? So for this, we're going to call it Schoken Beiler. And we only need two things. We need the diameter of the pool and the distance to the target. And we need them in meters, both of them. And so for this particular example, our diameter of the pool was 5 meters. And the distance to the target was 10 meters. And so our heat flux Q dot double prime. This is going to have units of kilowatts per meter squared. Is equal to 15.4 times the quantity distance to the target plus 0 0.5 times the diameter of the pool raised <laughs> to the negative uh, 1.59 power. I almost forgot that. Is that right? Did I do that right? Does that look right? Uh, I have the notes here. That way I don't have to do it from memory. Oh, uh, that's not right. I forgot to divide by the Diameter of the pool. Like, oh, that's right, it's fine. All right, this is the numerator. So we have the numerator here. And then we're going to divide by uh, the diameter of the pool. I got that. What did you write it to? Uh, negative 1.59. Is that right? So then, uh, while we're doing this, we know that this equation has an uncertainty of plus or minus 100%. So we might go ahead and put in the limits. So we might say, uh, minus 100% is going to be, it's going to equal this, our answer, divided by 2, and plus 100% is going to be equal to our answer times 2. So this is, they're all kilowatts per meter squared. This is our range of uncertainty. Oh, thank you. So it's just B5 divided by 2, and then B7 is B5 times 2. Sure. Uh, yep. Let me go escape. I mean, you can see it up at the top, but I know it's not bigger, so stretch it out. So 
So the uncertainty is plus or minus 100%. Oh, that's supposed to be plus 100%. So it's the it's it's B five times two. B five divided by two and B five times two. Yeah. Let me go here. Why well, won't it let me do plus? You gotta write out plus. So it just takes out the positive number. Really? No, I give like parentheses. Then it went in plus sign. You have to where plus there. All right, well, that's annoying. I want to do that one that way. I might as well do this one. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're gonna have to go over conduction and convection next class because we have seven minutes left. All right, so then we're going to do the point source model. For this model, we need similar things. Uh, we need the diameter of the pool and distance to the target, but we also need the radiative fraction. Uh, And we need the heat release rate, Q dot. And so the radio fraction for our example, the, if we do the in-class activity, which looks like this, so we have a 10-foot diameter tank, people are 50 feet away, Tenability limit is 0.25 watts per centimeter squared, and the heat release rate is 5. What is our exposure? So we have 0 0.3. The heat release rate is 5,000 kilowatts. Uh, for this example, our distance, our diameter of the pool is 3.048 meters, and our distance to the target. 15.24 meters. You'd have to you do those conversions. And then our Q dot sphere is equal to radio fraction times the heat release rate the quantity divided by the quantity 4 times pi times the quantity the distance to the target plus 0 0.5 times the diameter that quantity squared and then close parentheses for the to denote the end of the denominator. PI, open parentheses, close parentheses. It'll recognize it as the quantity pi. If I hit enter, it'll give us our 0 0.42, which is what we calculated earlier. And then this is, once again, it's recommended you have a safety factor of 2. For design calculations, so this is equal to our calculated value times 2. Alright. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and stop.